Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today's system is from the user Earthlike Planet in Discord, so a massive thank you to them for sending this simulation in. So they've put uh, one of my most complete simulations of all time other than minor objects and it's called the ON80-2 system. So let's go ahead and uh, see what he's prepared for us here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, apologies guys, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment so my voice is a little funny. Um, but yeah, here it is. So, let's go ahead and see what we've got. Right, whoa, we've got a lot of reading. Oh, my poor voice is going to love this. <laughs> right, okay. So, the star itself. ON80-2. Okay, so, um, the second installment of the ON80 series. I welcome you to this very laggy system bearing 12,506 objects. Good thing I got a new PC then. Yeah, guys, this is uh, the second video I'm making on a new PC I've got where, yeah, my PC is very powerful compared to the previous one I've got so yeah should uh, hopefully we can run the system uh, quite well I mean I've got 32 gig RAM with it so I mean hopefully that will uh, help but I mean I'm no expert with computer hardware but as far as I know that should help um, but anyways um, pink trails are for planets red are for dwarf moons and blue is for major moons okay good to know I like I like it when people coordinate stuff like this it's really cool um, it's, I wish I wish people did more often actually it's a really really nice cool little thing right system description uh, the ON82 system is located in a dense uh, bright brown dust cloud near the edge of an elliptical galaxy. So, there's your dust cloud. Very bright in here. The star is a K-type orange dwarf star holding 11 planets in its grasp. Uh, planets A to K. 10 of the 11 planets bear moons. Let's check them out. P.S. If you see any objects that are covered in the snow and ice, they are not meant to be a bug. Okay, so disable the snow and the ice. Okay, cool. Right, so the star itself, obviously he said it was a K-type star, so there's your stats. Alright. Right, next up we have got this one here. This is the first of the objects, it's our first of the planets. So this is object A. Right. So this is the only planet without moons. It is a hot, so I'm just going to call it planet A. So we don't have to keep saying though, N82A. Um, so planet A is the only planet without moons. It's a hot barren desert planet with a green atmosphere. One of the most basic objects in the system, but it's still very nice. Its green atmosphere is very toxic and not cannot be breathed by most creatures. Ooh. So there you go. Kind of like a mix between Mercury and Venus with a thinner but very toxic atmosphere there. Okay. Next up we've got object B. Also a very hot planet, similar to Venus in appearance and desert like underneath. The very thick atmosphere can also not be ruled by any creatures known to man. The pressure from this would also crush a human. The planet holds one tiny asteroid moon orbiting around um, 18,376 kilometers away from the planet. Not much is known about this wasteland other than it exists. Okay, so if we have a look underneath. There you go. Looking good. Nice. Okay, next up we have got Object C. The only habitable planet of this system. It has green grass and blue seas. The atmosphere of this planet is breathable by humans and the bacteria that inhabit it. This planet has four moons and one small ring system. Um, one of the moons is very similar to our moon, um, but the moon is a desert. Uh, the, the planet is probably the most watched out of all the planets in the system. Okay, cool. It's actually tilted on its side by the looks of things. There's one of the poles there, look. Okay. Uh, looking at its stats, 94 and 60. Pretty good stats, and yet it's tilted on its side. So there's one of the moons. So I think this is the one the description was talking about. So it's the desert-like sort of looking one, like the moon. Okay. And if we look here, that's the uh, the ma the major moons are in blue and the minor moons are in red. I think he said. Yeah, blue is for major moons. Red are dwarf moons. Okay, cool. So they're just for extra effect. And then the second moon over here as well. Oh, that looks like the more desert one. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, moving on to the next planet. So object D, down here. So cold Selena with a dark red atmosphere. The atmosphere is also very toxic. The planet has three moons, two asteroids, and one major moon. This planet is very basic and similar to any um, other space rock you'd find floating around. So let's move on. Okay, as you say. Right, and then uh, moving on, so we've got object 2DC, which is one of the uh, major moons there as well. Nice. All right, next up. Object E It's a planet similar to Pluto in appearance. The atmosphere on this planet oh, it says frozen, like I said, he said we need to get rid of that. Um, so the atmosphere on this planet is very similar to our own and can be breathed by humans. This planet has 40 moons and a large thick ring 
Um, large thick ring system. Okay, there are lots of cool looking moons in this system, so check them out on your own. That's all I have to say about the planet. Okay, so he also said that any ice and stuff is a glitch, so we'll just do that. So that's how it should look. Very nice indeed. Okay, cool. Right, so on to the moons. So we'll, we'll run through them all in the uh, menu up here. There's the first one. Second moon there, slightly larger. Third moon down here. This is quite a big system, isn't it? How big is the planet itself? It is 0 0.8 Earths. Okay, quite a lot of moons for that, but they are obviously a lot of dwarf moons. Uh, so there you go, so little asteroid moons. Cool. Nice. Next up, we've got Object F. It's the very first ice gas giant of the system. Oh, nice purple and green. Nice and interesting combination of gas giant, that is. Uh, so it's got obviously a bunch of moons. Right. Um, it's made up of purple and green ices, which give it its exotic look. The planet bears 24 moons, the second most in the system. It also has a very nice thick ring system. There's also lots of cool moons, so check them out. Let's continue. Nice. I've got to say, of all the rings in this system, PC's handling it very well so far. I do like that. That's good. Nice. Right, and then onto the moons. Let's have a nice look at all of those guys. Oh, one of them's got a thicker atmosphere. Cool. So I'll just check out the blue ones because they're the major ones. So there you are. Cool. Looking good. I do quite like that. I may just get a little save of that actually. That's a nice. May add that to the collection. That's a really nice looking design there. Cool. Right. Next up, we got um, object G over here. It's the second gas ice giant in the system. It's made of orange and grey and white gases with some red sprinkled in. Let's see if we can spot the uh, the red areas there. You can see one roughly in the middle here. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but this middle band, you can see there's a slight pinky red shape there. Looking good. Okay. Uh, this is my favourite planet in the system. It has 27 moons, the most in the system, and a very nice ring system. Like with the previous planet, there's not a lot going on with the moons, but that is a Titan-like moon that you can still check out if you wish. Yep, we do like that. So that is GE. So that's this one here. So there it is, Titan-like moon. That's a big gas giant, isn't it? How big is it? It looks bigger than Jupiter from this distance. 7.85 Earths. Hang on, let's have a look. Oh, okay. So it's not as big as Jupiter. We're just quite close to it then. Right. And then uh, some of the other major moons. So there's only two major moons and then a lot of dwarf moons. Okay. Cool. So you can see, look at all the time he's put into this. He's customised all of them with the same shade of red and he's named every single one. Props to him because that is a lot of, uh, a lot of copying and pasting of the colours and stuff. So very nice. Nice work. That's cool. Some dedication. Uh, next up, we've got Object H. It's the first planet outside the first asteroid belt. Okay. Oh, you can see there is two, actually. Cool. So, this planet is similar to Pluto, but has a green toxic atmosphere. What a surprise. There's a lot of toxic atmospheres in here. Um, it has 11 moons. Check them out if you wish. The planet was originally thought to be a gas dwarf, but further studies um, show it is a rocky planet. Nice. So there it is here. So when he means similar to Pluto, I think he means the colour-wise. He's got the uh, paler brownish and white, and then he's got the darker deep brown, which is the follins that Pluto has, that brownish area. So they're the follins that do that. Cool. Um, let me have a few moons as well. So one, oh, one major moon there. Nice. Looking good. All right, next up, moving on. So Object J... Oh, no, there's an I as well. I'm going to go to I first. Um, there is another desert planet which you guess has a toxic atmosphere with clouds that rain acid rain. I recommend you turn on studio mode at this point. Uh, okay, so we're getting quite far from the star then because you can see in the picture at the top right how much dimmer it is. So we'll go to... Um, oh, hang on. We'll go to directional in that case. So there it is there. So that shows it all in its colours. Nice. Oh, get out of here. Right. Um, there's not much going on. This ring system is pretty basic. Moving on, so there's a lot of ring systems in here. And again, I'm very, I'm very happy with my PC. It can actually run all this with no problems. We're on max graphics as well, so that's very impressive. All right, next up we have got Object Two J over or J, I should say. Uh, the final ice giant in the system. Okay, so it's kind of a more generic-looking gas giant. It's made of blue, white, and green ices and gases. This planet has one of my favorite ring systems I've ever seen. Thick. Big and thin, okay. Okay, so it's got quite a big expansion, yeah. Let's just turn all this off so you can actually see it properly. Look how large that moon is just chilling there. <laughs> that is really big. Cool. Um, 
Check them out if you wish, but I'm moving on to the last planet. Okay, so that is it. So 20, it has 20 moons. Let's have a see. Is there any other major moons? Oh, yeah, we've got one here as well. Cool, and then the rest are all miners. Okay. All right, and then lastly, object cat e Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Oh, that cold's annoying. Right, um, object K. Okay, so a very dark and empty planet. There's not much going um, uh, going on here, and we'll never. Um, uh, there is not much going and here. That doesn't really make sense. Uh, and there will never be one change in this planet's orbit. Could send it flying into interstellar space. This planet has eight moons. Uh, this planet has nothing going for it other than it, it's the last planet. Basic rock and some weird sand. Uh, that's a wrap on the planet and system. Okay, hope you enjoyed this system, and thank you for checking it out. Peace. So, builder SCP-0835, or it is Discord name as Earthlight Planet. So, a massive thank you to them for sending this system in. Gotta say, very nice. I really like the description. I like how he's categorised every single moon with with. I like how he's he's taken the time to name them all, designate the colours for them. It does it, it does add to the effects, although it's just a little minor thing of. Just naming and, and adding the uh, trail colours. I think it is a very, very nice addition. And yeah, I've got to say, I definitely would like to see more people do this sort of stuff. Because it, it looks good. Look how organised it looks. I do like it being organised. And yeah, I think it looks I think it looks great with the darker reds, the blues. And it helps me go, go through the system so I know which objects to check and which ones not to check so much. Obviously, with the minor moons compared to the major moons. I mean, that's a very useful thing to have. So yeah, I appreciate that. And that is a very nice way of doing things. And yeah, people have done them before, but not often. But yeah, if anyone's looking for a cool little thing to do in their systems that they send in, try something like this. It is cool. I really like it. Thumbs up. No, it's a thumbs up from me. So there we are. But yeah, that does it for this system, guys. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 25,000 subscribers as well. And yeah, with that all said and done, make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.